guys welcome back to another monthly plan with me video um i always do these like on the desk and i just wanted to let you know that like usually day to day i'm not taking stuff out of my rings in order to plan but lately it's getting a bit chunky so i should probably do something about that have time to conmari my planner again um today we are planning september 2021 and i got myself a little inspired by picking out this palette of washi um, mostly this one is the inspiration and these are sort of bringing out the blues and then the bronze foiling. Um, I've had issues with this one in the past. So I'm going to try to use it sparingly, maybe trim it and make it like a narrow little strip or something, but you know, you can do that. And I believe I will just sort of jump in and get some of the decoration out of the way. And then we'll talk about actual plans as I get those down. Let's jump into my future log and see what we've got going for this month. So I was in the plan of sort of using these guys and these guys. These kind of fill up an entire box, which I found out last month. Um, these are from Twin 16. These are a little freebie sampler that came with a Planner K order. Um, and I sort of have some light blues that I think I can use. So let's see, we've got Labor Day. Um, so that's here and I might just do a little strip of some washi or something there. In fact, ah, maybe I'll just use this cause I already have it sliced. <laughs> this is from June I did a blue and <laughs> blue and brown theme and here I am doing a periwinkle and bronze theme it's the same thing I if I like colors I like colors okay so I'm just gonna do like this because it's Labor Day weekend so it just gets a little strip along the bottom And then also on Labor Day itself. And then let's see what's next. Looking at like weekends coming up. It's really just that and then the birthday party. So my second daughter is turning one this month, which is pretty exciting. I've I'm already feeling like she's one, so it's not like a, oh my goodness, my poor little baby. It's like she's been walking uh, for almost a month now. Um, let me see. August, I don't have to even see my future log. It's this fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. And so I'm trying to find the right spot. And here we are, September, Labor Day. I have a pediatrician appointment. I mean, I. She has the pediatrician appointment and I am her chauffeur and it is on the 20th. Kind of hoping that, 8.45 in the morning, okay. Kind of hoping that, um, you know what, I'm not going to put a dot for that. That's just going to get marked down here. Uh, hoping that the flu shot is out by then so I don't have to make a separate trip and I can make my husband and Agnes go out by themselves again. She was so proud of herself. She was the bravest she had ever been. And if you get that reference, then I love you and I have a podcast recommendation that I've been binging lately. Um, so let's see, I'm going to focus on down here. My uh, The idea of these two sections when I designed this 
was to have um, two projects with some next action items. And so I'm going to do backyard and um, birthday, which are sort of related because I think we've decided now suddenly that we're not going to rent out a shelter at the park to have the birthday party and so we're going to do it in our backyard because not only is it $100 to rent the shelter at the park, everyone has to pay for parking when they go, and also you have to get a permit from the city for $75 just to have a vendor provide anything. And we wanted to rent some soft play equipment. That's already $250. $175 is, I'd rather invest that in our backyard. Um, you know, a little bit of extra sweat equity, and then finally we'll have some some of our backyard done that we've been putting off for a while. So we're going to just sort of pull weeds and tidy up and make everything look presentable. Anyway, that should be good. Um, so that is going to be on this, let me see, this day here, the 19th. Not, I mean, the party will be on the 19th. Um, the actual, like working on the backyard will be happening before that. So we'll do, can I do this instead? Here we go, brown, 19. You know when you have like a fine point marker and sometimes you're using one more than another and then suddenly they don't all match line thickness? I feel like that's what happened here, but I don't know. Anyway, that's the birthday party. Oh, and I guess I'll put that here. Birthday party. And then, um, I was just going to say, oh, Labor Day was the six. I haven't put that on here. I doubt I'll forget. And then I am going to, let's see. The next part of this, oh, the next insert in here is the school calendar, which I'm pulling off, out off camera, but it's folded up in my, I'm going to show you the little one. Uh, it's folded up in here in like fourths and then punched and it fits nicely. I just have to fold it out when I'm using it. So this will tell me, obviously, no school on the 6th, but also no school on the 27th. I haven't looked up why. If anyone knows, you can comment below. Is that a holiday or something? I don't know. Then there's half days on the 3rd, the 8th, and the 22nd. But they may not be half days for my daughter, uh, which we find out on the first day of school that actually, no, she doesn't have a half day like everybody else. She needs to get picked up separately. Um, so I wasn't able to be there when she got off school because it would have been on my lunch break, but it wasn't. And our babysitter had to take two trips, which was annoying, I think, for everyone involved. Um, but the most annoying thing was that it was not communicated properly to the preschool parents that they had a different schedule. But I think that's basically it that's on the schedule here for September. Um, readathon. I'm sure if that's interesting, we will find out about it then. I'm like suddenly a school mom with a kid in school. She was so cute. So I'm filming this the day after her first day. And yeah, she was, she was so cute. So excited. She was like half an hour before it was time to leave going. Oh, is it time to leave yet? Can we go now? Um, had her little backpack all packed up and she's so cute. All right. Um, September gallery photos. This is for, sometimes there's like actual photos on the listings on my shop to you know show it in action and I just go through and select some of my Instagram photos and upload them uh, once a month or so so that goes there then obviously all of the every single month things I should just put the 15th I'm just gonna write 15th because it's the same stuff every month and I always remember it even though it is on my recurring tasks list and then the 14th is 
my Twitch Prime subscription, which you have to renew manually, but it's free, so it's worth it. And then we need to change our sheets. We went far too long last time. Try to do it once a month. I know some people probably think that that is disgusting, but you don't want to know how long we went between. Just things got busy. All right. And then I was thinking over here would be maybe more tasks along this line if it overflows. Um, We'll see. But basically, man, things wrap up pretty quickly, don't they? But I just realized I need a little corner here. I can slap a little bit more here. It's a nice thing. One of the things I like about the grid layout monthly is that you have just a little bit of wasted space so that you do get to decorate. Because generally my, my monthlies, um, for whatever reason, don't end up being very decorative, even though they're not the most practical like it just sort of houses a couple of things and i check it once a week um so it should be pretty right and not just a list of things to reference once a week so i will be going through at some point and deciding exactly which tasks need to be done for their backyard and for uh, the birthday party prep um, adding more things here if i feel it's necessary should i yeah okay i want to slap down one of these stickers um these are also from twin 16 and which which blue oh my goodness there's so many different blues out there in the universe that it is difficult to get the right ones in this. i feel like this is too bright but this is probably the best i've got all right i'm gonna put this here there we go see i get to use some like slightly larger stickers here i think this is probably like Air condom with maybe or not quite. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Important is, yeah, backyard, and that also includes garden, um, because the weather doesn't look like it's going to keep getting hotter. It seems like it's already getting ready for fall, which means fall garden. Uh, summer garden has been struggling. Um, a tomato hornworm decimated my first plant. I got, I tried to start all my tomatoes from seed. It didn't go well, and so I got a late start on the tomatoes, but I'm gonna try growing some tomatoes through the fall as well and just see what happens because we have a very mild winter here. Um, but I'm very excited for lettuce. And um, yeah, I've been, I've been missing my lettuce. I, I was surprised how much I enjoyed having a lettuce because like normally I'm not really a salad person but I'm, I'm learning new salad things so I was gonna put backyard again uh, so I'm gonna be starting some seeds and I think if I can get this the fall garden started sooner then we can harvest sooner things like um, collard greens and kale and spinach um, and I might try cauliflower I might try cabbage. I might try to find some sort of loose leaf cabbage that I don't have to like deal with so I can make gonki without it being the whole thing. Anyway, that is all. Um, I think that's it. How does it look? Oh, I didn't show you. Oh, I didn't add here. Currently. Currently. This is the little dashboard that is insert 30. No, I don't remember now. It's on my shop also. And I formatted it so that it only prints on one side of the page at a time. So I was able to just quickly and easily throw this in the printer and just print it on this side. Um, and that looks nice. And I don't know, should I throw an extra little bit of washi tape there? Nah, I'm going to leave it like this. And I don't fill this out until like far, far, farther through the month. I only just finished filling out the one for... August um, this morning before filming this because uh, I wanted to act accurately reflect what I am doing versus what I like uh, want to be doing because <laughs> I can be all aspirational about oh I'm reading this and this and this and then I'm um, oh I know what I should put for reading because like, I don't do a lot of reading but I am doing the Bible in a Year podcast should I should, I should put Isaiah and Ezekiel because that's what we're on right now lately oh 
but I don't know how to spell Isaiah. So I will do that off camera. Okay. Uh, I don't want to mess this up, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, subscribe if you did, cause I will see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye. Thank you.